Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Flipper Zero. Before we start this video, I would like to say I will not be showing you how you can use the Flipper, but I will be talking about some of its features instead. The Flipper Zero is a portable open source hardware device designed for use in cybersecurity. It's intended to be a versatile tool uh, to be used for penetration testing. This tool is called around the internet the Swiss Army Knife of Hacking and the Swiss Army Knife of Antennas. So I do own a flipper and have used it and have tested it against my own devices to see what it's able to do. Uh, now, first when you unbox your flipper, you obviously have the flipper, a small USB-C cable, and a small description on the box that tells you some of the capabilities and options that the flipper has. So let's get into the capabilities and options the flipper has. One of the first options that the, uh, that the flipper has, it's called the sub gigahertz on the flipper. This option allows you to analyze signals and use a radio remote. The sub gigahertz transceiver allows it to interact with old fashioned devices like garage doors, restaurant pagers, gates, um, gas station price signs and doorbells and many other things. Now, I've seen some videos of people unlocking car doors all over TikTok with the Flipper Zero. Now, this can be possible, but with newer vehicles using uh, things called rolling codes, they aren't really susceptible to these kind of attacks. And you don't have to worry about some guy in the bushes waiting for you to unlock and lock your car and get robbed in the middle of the night. That's, it's unlikely that's going to happen. Now, with the cars that I had readily available to me, and I've tested this, none of them worked. Um, so I can for sure tell you, you don't have to worry about anyone <laughs> breaking in your car with a flipper. Now, the one thing that I was able to test was opening Tesla charging ports. That works, but the Tesla is smart enough to know that when it's not charging, the, the charging port will close. So you don't have to worry about that either. Uh, let's move on to the other option, RFID. This option allows you to read and store 125 kilohertz cards and tags. The other option that's on the flipper is called the infrared option. This allows you to use universal TV and AC remotes. Uh, on the unleashed firmware, you could do other things like mess with the audio. Um, I, they even have projectors on there. Let's move on to the GPIO ports and the option on the flipper. This option allows you to have extended hardware modules. So you could install a Wi-Fi dev board on your flipper if you're into Wi-Fi hacking or if you want to scan a network with your flipper. NFC, near field communications. This option allows you to read and store 13 megahertz cards and tags. And finally, iBind. This allows you to read and store Dallas Touch memory keys. This small device can do a lot. I'm actually happy with the product that I got. I am happy of what it's able to do. Um, I am honestly just happy for the price that I paid for it. Now, speaking of the price, I would like to say that um, if you're getting your flipper for $200 or $300, in my opinion, it's not worth it, okay? Moving on, uh, there is also a big community, big support behind the flipper. Uh, there's forms to help you troubleshoot your flipper, as well as repositories with scripts and other useful tools for cybersecurity enthusiasts to hack devices within their home. Uh, the flipper zero can be used for a variety of tasks including running custom scripts, uh, programs. The Flipper Zero has a Raspberry Pi compatible processor. So uh, you can use it to run your own scripts and programs written in the language uh, like Python or C and more. On top of that, the Flipper allows you to run bad USB attacks by connecting the device to your computer with a USB which is really cool and I will be demonstrating that right now.
Hey everybody. I plugged in something I should not have. The 125 kilohertz antenna lets you read and clone as well as emulate other prox cards in conjunction with the NFC module. It can read, write, and emulate both low and high frequency NFC devices like tap cards and infrared transceivers. Let it learn IR devices basically on the fly. This thing's amazing. Now for, uh, for something that's a little less malicious, uh, you can store UTF, uh, U2F keys to do two-factor authentication. Uh, so you could use your flipper for two-factor authentication for your computer, which is really nice. Thank you for watching this YouTube video on the flipper. Please do note that using any device for unauthorized access or exploitation of a computer system is illegal and can result in serious consequences. It is important to use technology responsibly and in accordance with the law. And if you have any questions or want to chat with like-minded individuals about cybersecurity, join our Discord community, discord.gg owlsec. Thank you for watching this video again, and catch you later. Peace.